Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. With a lack of archaeology news coming out of the world, I decided to delve back into the archive of new discoveries over the past 10 years, to see if I could find some interesting nuggets of information that may not be well known. Discoveries from before I began the Ancient Architects channel. I came across a story from February 2014, when archaeologists discovered a 4,600 year old steppe pyramid near the ancient settlement of Edfu in southern Egypt. This pyramid is estimated to have stood at a height of 43 feet or 13 meters, and is one of seven so-called provincial pyramids built by either Pharaoh Huni, who reigned between 2635 and 2610 BC, or King Sneferu, who reigned between 2610 and 2590 BC. Today this pyramid only stands at 16 feet or 5 meters in height, because over the millennia the stone blocks were pillaged and the monument was exposed to weathering. The so-called provincial pyramids are scattered throughout central and southern Egypt and are each located near a major settlement. They have no internal chambers and were also not burial structures. Six of the seven known structures have almost identical dimensions, and this includes the one that was recently discovered near Edfu. So, what was their purpose? In truth, they remain a mystery. Some say they are symbolic monuments dedicated to the royal cult that affirm the power of the king in the southern provinces. It was a symbol of their power and rule. Back in 2014, when talking to the media, Gregory Marouard, a research associate at the University of Chicago, said, The similarities from one pyramid to the other are really amazing, and there is definitely a common plan. On the eastern side of the newly discovered pyramid, experts found the remains of an installation where food offerings appear to have been made, which may give us clues about what they were used for. Here we can see the offerings installation, and this hole shown here possibly housed an our lost stealer. Was the pyramid therefore a symbol of the royal cult, or were they dedicated to a god? There was also hieroglyphic graffiti on the outer faces of the pyramid, located besides the remains of babies and children who were buried at the foot of the pyramid. It is thought that the remains of these infants date back to a period long after the pyramid was constructed, and so the structure was not originally a burial place. Before excavations began, scholars did know about a possible pyramid structure at Edfu, which was once under what looked like a rough mound of sand and rubble. But excavations didn't begin until 2010. It was covered in a thick layer of sand, modern waste, and remains from the pillaging of its blocks. It didn't look like a pyramid at all, and for many years the nearby village thought the man was the tomb of a sheikh, a local Muslim saint. But as excavations got underway, the ancient pyramid was soon revealed. It was built of blocks of sandstone with a clay mortar, and the pyramid had three steps. A core of blocks rises up vertically, with two layers of blocks beside it, on top of each other. This made the pyramid look like it had three steps, a similar style to the much larger pyramid of Xhosa. Apparently the technique is close to the one used at the Maidum pyramid, which the experts say was built by the Snefru or Huni, which originally is thought to have been a step pyramid before the Egyptians tried to turn it into a true pyramid. Morawad said, The construction itself reflects a certain care and a real expertise in the mastery of stone construction, especially for the adjustment of the most important blocks. The pyramid was built directly onto the bedrock and local raw materials were used. The quarry where the sandstone was extracted was found in 2011 and was located just half a mile away to the north. The hieroglyphic graffiti on the outer faces included a book roll, a seated man, a four-legged animal, a reed and a bird. They are private and rough inscriptions, and experts say they are certainly dedicated to the child and baby burials located right under the inscriptions. One such inscription seems to read, Head of the House, and may refer to the mother of a buried child. 
From the excavations, archaeologists came to the conclusion that the pyramid at Edfu had been abandoned and offerings had stopped being made by the time of Khufu's reign, between 2590 and 2563 BC, meaning its original function and importance only really lasted around 50 years. Experts believe that Khufu no longer thought there was a need to maintain a small pyramid at Edfu, and that pyramid, in each of the seven provincial pyramids, probably went out of use at the same time. Maybe Khufu did feel politically secure, and therefore didn't need there to be local pyramids to enforce his rule over the masses. Provincial pyramids are a very interesting subject, and one I'll cover in more depth in the future. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.